Welcome into Extra Time. Thank you very much for your tweets. Stevie's diet starts tonight. But no time to discuss that because do more ex-players need to be incentivized to referee the game? Clearly, the refereeing quality is the matter, not technology. Don, you brought this up on the show, didn't you? You feel that maybe ex-players should be involved, maybe in that VAR booth? I could see ex-players being in a VAR booth, for sure. Um, whether they'd want to put themselves on the line and be a referee, absolutely no chance. But yes, for VAR, definitely. See, Don's just looking for an extra paycheck. Really? Yeah. 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 He's, he's thinking yeah. about another avenue where we can uh, get the old three gigs in a day routine. <laughs> Work that up. Sit in there, take your money. Well, uh, would that work? Well, I'm in the building. Ex-player in the I'm bar in the building. Booth. Exactly. I'm in the building. I might as well. I'm yeah. in the building. Why don't I do uh, I certainly, I, I totally agree. The thought of putting the donning the referee get... To be honest with you, I don't think most players could do it. Right. Because it's difficult. It is difficult. There's not a chance of a doubt. It is a difficult job. But sitting in a VAR booth Correct. isn't difficult. Yes, that's that's the point. Refereeing at full speed in the Premier League or Spain or Germany or whatever, when everybody's trying to feign injury and con you and it's so quick, that's horrendously difficult. Sit in the VAR booth, though. Sit in the VAR booth, give a player's perspective. But you make the, you're making it sound like you'd be just be sitting in a wee comfortable chair with everybody saying, you know, let's do this and do that. Well, what do you have think you is going to be happening? Amongst, have you ever sat amongst a group of referees? No. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing ever. Me and Ray Hodgson went and, and, and spent an hour with about 200 of the, the US officials. And we walked in the room and they all stood up, and every single one of them had the same, had the same grey pants on, the oh, same right. oh. the same jacket, the same tie, the same thing. It was the right. weird. I tell you, it was like it was like going but into the. If you were sat in that of our booth today, not, they, could you not? Could you not have said, "Hey, but look, there's a push on." They don't. They, no, they, 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 they I can't do this. They're all dressed the same. <laughs> they're all wearing the same trousers. <laughs> they completely <laughs> out. think a different way. They're not. Uh, they're not logical. Frank, Frank, would it work? Oh, yeah. Would you want to sit in a VAR booth and help? Um, I personally wouldn't because I have other things to do, but uh, I believe that uh, it would be a very good, very good help for the referees, especially the the one of tonight. You know, I mean that guy was he's blind, so he just needs he just needs somebody who has eyes. Yeah, that's it. It's but Frank, really, yeah, it helps. Frank Frank's Varbooth would have those white curtains in it. Yes, from Switzerland. From Switzerland. So beautiful. <laughs> the furry curtains. Personally, yeah. I would not go in the Varbooth because I have better things to do in my life, but maybe someone who didn't win a World Cup. Like Don. <laughs> Good to it. Oh, come on. How casual's Frank? He's just not bothered, is he? I've got better things to do in my life. Yeah, there you are. Uh, yeah, well, he's an actor. Uh, thoughts on Mina Raiola? Strong comments on Ollie uh, regarding Pogba. Did you ever have an agent get in a public argument with a club, even if it didn't involve you? Uh, Frank, it, it, I'm not sure if you saw this today, but before the game, Solskjaer couldn't commit to the fact that Pogba would ever play for Manchester United again. Raiola came out very, very strongly, talking about how Pogba isn't anybody's property and how Oli basically needs to focus on his job because that's his big concern at the moment and he shouldn't be worrying about Pogba. Uh, what did you make of this? It's, it's bad and it's sad in a way that uh, I think we are, we are uh, in, a, in another, um, another generation of, uh, of seeing football. I think uh, I always believe that you have to respect the club, respect the hierarchy, and as a player, you have to respect the coach, the manager, the, um, and, and the board. And it seems to be that the players are the most important thing in the club right now and they don't really care about the others. And uh, it can be for Pogba, it can be for others. And I don't know why an agent is capable of saying that. I don't think any agent in my generation would have been able to, to say that without being crucified by the other uh, clubs and not being able to work. Man United, Paul Pogba was the property of Manchester United. Until his contract, until the, the, the hour that his contract runs out and then he's his own property again. Uh, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is an employee uh, of Manchester United, like Paul Pogba, with the task with the decision-making of picking the team, is right to say in his own mind, he might not play again, because even if he's fit, I might not play him. It's nothing to do with an agent, yeah. it's just factual. Well, I can't imagine Pogba's comfortable with this, is he? 
I would suggest Pogba's not even interested. Yeah. This is not the first time that he, Raul's come out and, and made comments about what's happening to Pogba or, or what Solskjaer should be doing or the club should be doing. I mean, again, Frank's right, it's a, it's, it's a generational thing. If that was my agent, yeah. I would have been saying, you keep your trap shut, you deal with the contract, nothing else. But obviously today, the players don't say anything. There's no way, there's no way Pogba has got a hold of this guy and is telling this guy what to do. Mm. Seems like the guy just runs off and does whatever he fancies and Pogba lets him. Don? I would sack him. I would. I know people will say, well, you know, Raiola will get Paul Pogba moving the summer and he'll, he'll make him millions. Paul Pogba can have the pick of any agent in the summer. I, I sacked an agent for far less when I was leaving Everton and I had the chance of going to four football clubs and I spoke to all four football clubs and all I said to my agent was, give me one week, do not give any managers my number, I'm going to go on the beach and have a think about it, talk it over with my family and make a decision. Within two or three days, the agent gave all four managers my number, they were ringing me, so I picked up the phone and sacked my agent. So if I was Paul Pogba, I'd do exactly the same. It's when you wield that kind of power. Look at that, eh? Now, Don't we'll interrupt Don on the beach. We'll interrupt him on the beach. What? Yeah. <laughs> He'll sack you. That is it. <laughs> Frank, which was tougher than... And speedos. <laughs> oh, we don't need that at all. The final, the final insult. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, which was tougher to reach? Yeah. The World Cup final yeah. or the finale of the French version of The Masked Singer? <laughs> uh, well, I will go for the French version of the Masked Singer because I'm not a singer. So I had to pretend to be a singer. And I was quite a football player. So I think it was easier for me to reach a World Cup final, even if I was first on the bench. But um, yeah, you know, life is good for me. Uh, and I was very fortunate to be in the final. So yeah, that was quite easy. It was just a football game. <laughs> just a football game. That's all right, isn't it? Did you choose to dress as a peacock or did they give you that costume and say, this is what you're wearing? No, I, I chose it. I chose it. I, I, I had the, um, like a book where you choose where, which animal you want to, re or <laughs> robot, whatever you want to choose. And I picked I pick the peacock and the tiger because I love the peacock. That guy has a big ego. He thinks he's fantastic. And uh, I like his tail. <laughs> I don't know any peacocks myself, so no? I can't answer that. Gavin pigeons, I'm more out with pigeons. Oh, yeah, you and your pigeons and seagulls. Gavin Peacock, yeah. yeah. Australian pigeons. Uh, what would be a successful season for United, Don? Oh, European spot, I think. And if they can somehow eke their way into the Champions League spot, um, I'm pretty sure United fans would take that. But um, a lot of work to do. Um, and they need to play better football, I think. And, and Marcus Rashford, when he's back, will certainly help that. But I think a good end to the season. Final question, over, under, on 50 picks of hashtag Snap Shaka. Shaka's obviously off to Carnival. Under. Under, yeah. People were yeah. tweeting me saying it's not the done thing. You don't share pictures of Carnival. Well, that, there's, your, there's your answer then. Yeah, there you go. No chance of but 50. Please well, what do you think the chances of Secret Squirrel sending photos back? <laughs> Secret Squirrel? Who's that? Shaq. You know, he likes to just... <laughs> <laughs> Keep on the quiet yeah, side. There'll yeah. be no pics, nothing. Unlike some people that are on Instagram everywhere. Oh, yeah. look at me. He's yeah. not like, no, he's not. no, not like Stevie in his Instagram ways. Yeah. yeah. Can't no. put it down. I uh, would say if we get two pics from the carnival, you've I done think, one. I think, yeah. Except for one. Yeah, no Photoshop ones either. I had some of them last night. Don't want to see that. Uh, thank you very much, guys. ESPN FC is back tomorrow. Brilliant day, isn't it? Borussia Dortmund against PSG. Well, it isn't too weird, but... Liverpool against Atleti. Lots to talk about. Be sure to join us. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.